Hey guys, Tim here coming at you with another report. It seems an airline is getting ready to start using RFID technology and chips to track luggage. Let's check this out. This article is now is from Now the End Begins. Delta Airlines to use RFID microchips on all luggage unveils $50 million tracking system. Under the new system, conveyor belts will have sensors that flash a green light if the suitcase is on track to the correct plane and a red light if not, meaning a handler can redirect it and re can redirect it. In April, Delta unveiled a $50 million investment to overhaul its existing barcode tra back tra uh, bag tracking system. And of course, there you have the radio waves giving a picture of it. And then here you have down the editor's note, now that everyone has gotten used to having a smart device attached to them at all times, it is the perfect time to begin tagging everything we touch with RFID microchips. Once people accept that, the tagging and chipping of humans will be next. So that's how they do it. You know, they'll concentrate in stages, stage one, and then they'll get to stage two and stage three, and then they start chipping people because people seem to be okay with it. I mean, this whole idea of transhumanism and people merging with technology, it opens the doors for people to just put an electronic implant in their hand and then there you go you have a precursor or the mark of the beast you know it's a precursor because the beast isn't here yet once the beast uh, shows up after the body of Christ leaves then it definitely is the mark of the beast and will damn anyone that takes it to hell it is not Sunday law sorry to the Seventh-day Adventists but it's an actual literal mark in the right hand or in the forehead well, let's continue. Delta Airlines, based in Atlanta, said it will use radio frequency identification chips placed on travelers' bags to track their location. Baggage handlers will be able to, to identify each bag from a distance from a chip placed inside a paper tag on the baggage. Under the new system, conveyor belts will have sensors that flash a green light if the suitcase is on track to the correct plane and a red light if not, meaning a handler can redirect it. And of course, here you have a video showing how that works. In April, Delta unveiled a $50 million investment to overhaul its existing barcode bag tracking system. The airline is hoping the new system will help to tackle the problem of lost luggage. Airlines spend thousands of pounds each year replacing passengers' belongings that, when they go missing en route. The airline's existing system involved the scanning of individual barcodes on each piece of baggage. Brett Snyder, an av aviation expert, said, quote, the airlines have been doing better in general when it comes to mishandled bags, but this is going to help significantly, significantly, end quote. And you see that there they go with putting in the positive uh, things about it, showing how much good it can do. You can track your, your uh, luggage. You can track everything, you know. And keep track of it you know as long as you have the the chip and then it's going to be the next stage as long as you're a person you have the chip in your hand you can buy stuff that's how they do these things social conditioning he added quote things really go off the rails when you have storms and you have bags scattered everywhere over the past few years you've seen airlines going behind the scenes to focus on better operating and handling end quote the RFID technology has been around for decades and was developed during the Second World War to help distinguish between friendly and enemy aircraft. The technology is already used in the hotel industry to keep track of towels and linens in libraries and even in nursing homes for vulnerable patients who may be at risk of getting lost. Earlier this year, a separate airline revealed an enormous 40,000 pieces of checked baggage missed their, missed their planes. American Airlines Vice President said airport security delays were to blame for the luggage delays. And that's the end of the article. And you see, that's just them trying to uh, solve the chaos by bringing their uh, answer, which is false. All it is is moving people closer and closer to the beast system, to the mark of the beast. You know, lost people really need to wake up to this. Uh, if you are a lost person right now, you need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. He died for your sins. You are not good enough to go to heaven. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Jesus Christ gave himself as a sacrifice for your sins, for everyone's sins on the cross. So that you can repent and put your faith in him and be saved from everlasting torment and fire. So, if you're lost and you're coming into these videos, get saved now. 
This is a red line warning because once the body of Christ leaves and the beast shows up, you are going to have a very hard time. But that's pretty much it for the report. It just goes to show you how they're trying to move the lo the lost world into all these things because the lost world has no idea what's happening. They don't pick up a Bible. They don't read it. They don't heed the warnings. And because of that, God will send them strong delusions so they should be believe a lie. Every one of them uh, will be damned that believe not that the ha uh, receive not the love of the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. So, get saved if you're lost. And to my brothers and sisters, have a great day. Be safe in the Lord, and God bless.